don't get the camera. He just tried to eat you guys. Good morning, world. Good morning, internet friends. Good morning, everybody. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Anxiety when sleep is not your friend. We've been adding on to the list all day today. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, Amarelle? Damn, I'm itchy. Hey, Morel. So, today, we're going to Langston, Alabama, so Dad can pick up fishing rods. And apparently going to this restaurant called 50 Taters, which I've never heard of, but it sounds good. If it's something to do with a lot of potatoes. I love potatoes. Um. <clears throat> sorry. Choking everywhere. This morning was kind of a wild morning. Came downstairs, there was dog poop all over the floor, and we figured it was from Sassy. So we had a lot of cleaning up and mopping the floors, and had to put on essential oils. Because as weird as this sounds, like, I knew it wasn't Riddler's or MRL's by sight and smell. And it was horrible. But luckily it wasn't like a Parvo smell, because Parvo has its own particular smell. The way I think of the smell of Parvo is combined tobacco smoke with like hotel cleaning products. And that's usually what Parvo smells like. But now I'm just, I got a shower. A little bit is chewing on the couch. Stop. MRL. Leave it. Ah, come here. Get the rope. Leave it. There you go. Play with that. Do not play with this. So now we're just gonna hang out for a while. I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys, so I'm back at home. Yay! And look who missed me. My baby Rit Emeril. Why did I about call him Riddler? I'm like my mom, I'm confusing their names. Okay, bye! He's probably gonna go downstairs and get some water. So today we went to Langston, Alabama. Picked up a couple fishing poles for dad. Went to this place called 50 Taters. It's actually quite delicious. And then had to go to the mall to return something. Went to Bass Pro Shop. I got into a Snapchat competition with Jordan to take as many pictures of animals as possible. And then we came home. Emerald did pretty well. He did pee in his crate, but otherwise he did very well. For some reason he decided to knock the pee pad over. So he actually peed on his bed instead of on the pee pad. I don't think he's used to the idea of a pee pad. Because I mean, I've always just put it in his bed just in case, but I've not actually trained him to use it. I much prefer him using it outside, but he did pretty well. And of course, Sassy peed in her bed, Riddler peed on his blanket, so everybody peed. Better than the poop that I had to deal with this morning with Sassy. So now we're back at home. Um, I'm probably going to get a new video uploaded for YouTube. It was a video I made earlier this morning. Probably answer a few comments. Um. And, yeah. I got asked in a comment about, like, how do I keep up with commenting on things, watching other vlogs, and taking care of a fur baby? The secret is wait till baby's napping. <laughs> so, there you go. So now I'm just, I guess... Gonna chill for the night, and I'll check back in with you guys later. So right now, we are working on just being used to the leash existing. And not biting on it. So to distract him from that, we play. After we itch. We play, and we get treats, and get told how good we are. But you gotta not chew on the, on the leash. What you sniffing? You being a good boy, not getting the leash. Don't get the carpet. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Are you trying to get the leash? Here, get the pumpkin. Oh, don't get the camera. He just tried to eat you guys. There you go. Good boy. Get the pumpkin. Get the pumpkin. Can you figure it out? I bet you can. You better not be getting that leash. Yes! Good boy! 
That was something I saw online was if he starts grabbing the leash, grab his collar and just wait. Because you want it to make you want to make it boring for them. Don't try to pull back on it or push him off of it because he'll think you're playing a game with him. That's why I'm trying to distract him with toys. So he'll know that these are okay to play with. This is not. This is okay to play with. This is okay. Yeah, you can tug on this. But your leash is not a toy. No, it's not. Your leash is going to be very important when you get bigger and you get to go work. And there went Riddler. Riddler's jealous. But right now it's training time. And see if he can get used to just like having the leash on him and not mess with it. Get the ball! MRL, get the ball! Get the ball! MRL. MRL. Yes, good boy. Good boy. That's better. And I know I'm showing you guys a lot of training videos regarding him and the leash. We do work on basic commands, but also need him to be used to the leash. So, we're working on it. He's doing so good. He's such a good boy. Do you want your pumpkin? And inside of here, you guys can kind of see it. There's kibble inside. And so he has to figure out how to turn it upside down. He's figured it out a couple of times. What are you doing? Ah, leave the carpet alone. Ah, 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 ah. Leave the carpet alone. Yes, good boy. Yes, play with the pumpkin. <gasps> play with the pumpkin. There you go. How do you get the food out? How do you think? Where does the food come from? Don't even think about it. Quit playing with the carpet. Yeah, you smell Big Brother out there? Just sniff at the things. You probably need to go potty. So, I just wanted to show you guys how his leash training is going, and I'll check it back in with you later. Hey guys! So, there's Riddler sleeping, and there's Mr. Emeril sleeping. They're too precious. Um, so, let's see. What has the evening been? I got my video up on YouTube. Hooray! I had to keep dogs from killing each other, as usual. I mean, they're just play fighting, but it gets to a point where one doesn't realize the other wants to stop. Mainly, Riddler doesn't realize MRL wants to stop, but they're getting there. I mean, they're both puppies. Sometimes it's hard to remember with Riddler, but he's only 15 months old, which is a year and two months. No, three months. Hi! Hi! You want to say goodnight to the vlog, Tyler? I'm Axel 3D, and I say, Mwah! Good night, everybody! Okay. That's it. Okay. Well, good night. Remember, you got work in the morning. I know. That's why I decided to turn in early. Okay. Well, go to bed. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my brother. <laughs> Um, but before I go to bed, I want to give a very special shout out to, I don't know her username on YouTube, but I know her username on Instagram is Nikita the English Mastiff. So, Liz, if you are watching this, you better comment down below and let me know that you heard this shout out, because I want to know, and comments are fun. And I got to actually watch her live stream, and that was pretty fun. I enjoyed it. Got to meet our wonderful dogs, and of course, talking about dogs and all sorts of things. Finally, my diffuser, for some reason, has been rattling today. I'm not really sure what it's doing, but eh, whatever. I'm not going to worry about it too much. But now I'm going to sign up for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. 
Um, question of the day is... What is something that surprises you? Even though it probably shouldn't surprise you. But what surprises you? For me personally, this probably sounds dumb. It surprises me that people watch me on YouTube. <laughs> and I mean, I know that people do. Because, I mean, these videos are up for anybody on the internet to see. And yet, if somebody says like, Oh, I watch your vlogs! I'm like, wait, what you do? People watch me? Why? <laughs> So, I know it sounds really dumb, but that's just kind of how my brain rolls. So, put your answers down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Riddler! Good night, my sweet baby boy! Sweet dreams!